Right, in this video we're going to finish up on this topic of averages and we're going to look at averages from frequency tables. And first of all, I'm going to talk about the method for finding each of the averages from a frequency table. But the reason why this is important is because later on when we do a topic in statistics we'll see how we can make different ways of representing data when we do a topic on representing data like bar charts, pie charts and things like that and these things you could also make a frequency table out of if you cannot find it from that so this is important so with this we'd always be able to find the averages so the method for finding the mode is we just really we just look for the highest frequency and as, as usual there can be more than one now for the median you can write a list of all your numbers but the best way to do it is to add all your frequencies and then locate the middle value or values but take saves time rather than writing out the whole list like four ones, nine twos, eight threes, ten fours, etc. That would just waste a lot of time when you can simply add these up, locate the middle one and we're done. And the way I find the mean explanation's not particularly too good. Yeah, but we'll see when we do examples. Yeah, add the number of question mark times <laughs> frequencies, <laughs> whatever the question mark is, because the question mark could always be number of whatever it is in your data, I don't know. It could be absolutely anything. And we'll sum them all, and then we'll divide that by the sum of the frequencies so, that's the method of how we find all these different things here. So, now we're gonna. No, not things, the averages. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> anyway, here's for example now we wanna find the mean, the median, and the mode of this data. And then we've got a little question which will also help we review a little bit from what we did last time. Which is a bit useful. Just gives them a bit of extra practice. So first of all, because I've got it at the top of my list and because it's the easiest one, first of all we're going to find a mode. You know, in this particular problem, this is about a sports day and about students taking part in the sports day and this is the number of frequencies the number of students the frequency is the number of students here and this here is the number of certificates so this means four students got one certificate two nine students got two certificates and the, the mode's just the highest frequency, which the highest frequency here is 10, so the mode number and the corresponding number adds 4, so the mode for certificates is 4, because 10 students got 4 certificates. And you can see that that's more students than got any other number of certificates by the number of frequencies. Next what we're going to do, I better put more today. Next what we're going to do is we're going to find the median. So what we do here is, I discussed this before, what we're going to do is we're going to add the values. 
So let's see what we get here. I've got 10, 20, then we get 17 here, it's 37, 3, 40. So the sum of our frequencies is 40. In fact, I'm going to write that down over here. Sum of frequencies equals 40. And then to locate the middle one, so divide that by 2. 20. So the middle values are going to be 20 and 21. So let's see where that is. Well, 13, 21. They're going to be in here. Because I get 4, 13, 21. So, the ones who want are in here. So, the mode, the median number of certificates would be 3. Now the mean is going to be my last one, just so I've got a bit of room to do the calculation and show you what we'll do here, I'm going to rub some of this out, I want to keep that, that's why I wrote it down before because I need it for this. So we times these. So what I'm going to do is I do 1 times 4 plus 2 times 9 plus 3 times 8 plus 4 times 10 plus 5 times 6 plus 6 times 3. Then when we do the multiplications, we're going to get 4 plus 18 plus 24 plus 40 plus 30 plus 18. And that's going to be the sum that we get here. And then let's add these up and see what we get. We're going to get, let's say I've got a 40 and a 30 here, so that's going to give us a 70. And I've got two 18s, so that's going to be 36. Plus me 70, that's going to give us 106. And then when I add me 24, that's going to give us 630. And I'm going to get 134. So, this number here is 134. Now, just so you know what this is, this is number of certificates times the frequencies, and we've summed them all. And then the next thing, the rule told what to do was divide this, divide that. So I'm going to do 134 divided by 40 and let's just see what the common, lowest common factor is, highest common factor is here. Well first of all to cancel this a bit let's see what I'll take out, I'll take out, how about, I take out 2, I get 20 on the bottom here and I take out 2. And on the top, let's see what I get. I'm going to get a 67 on the top. Okay, so that's the right answer because when you add the two 67s, you'll get 134 back. 
So the mean is 60 divided by 27 and that's just basically a fraction so I'm not going to work that out. All you do is time the calculator, 67 divided by 20. I'm just going to say the mean is 67 twentieths. Just to save some time with calculations there. So that's how we find the averages from frequency tables. I just told you the methods and showed you how we're calculating them in a particular example.